Hello, I'm Echo Craigrain. If you are trying to figure out how refinancing home loan works and how to use it to your advantage, then this is the video you don't want to miss. Let's go. Guys, in just a moment, I'm going to break down what refinancing home loan is, why is it important, how to buy more properties from refinancing a home loan, and how to qualify for refinancing a home loan. So, what is refinancing home loan? When you refinance your home, you are basically securing a new mortgage for your property based on its current value, and not on the amount it was valued at when you took out your initial home loan. This gives you access to equity or cash that you can use to improve your standard of living or strengthening your financial standing. This method is commonly called cash out refinance. In other words, if your home is currently valued at 200,000 and your mortgage balance is 100,000 rand, you have 100,000 rand of equity in your home. You can refinance your 100,000 rand loan balance for 200,000 rand and receive 100,000 rand in cash. So why is refinancing home loan so critical? Refinancing your home loan might give you a lower interest rate if you originally bought your property when the mortgage rates were much higher. Actually, interest rates are considerably lower currently. So maybe now is the time to refinance and lock in at a lower fixed interest rate. You are basically replacing your expensive loan with cheap money. Two, you could use the money from a cash out refinance to pay off higher interest credit cards and this could save you thousands of rents in interest. You could also use the money to pay off your credit cards in full. And this can build your credit score by reducing your credit utilization ratio, the amount of available credit you are using. If you use the money to buy another investment property or substantially improve your existing rental property, then the mortgage interest is tax deductible. This is my favorite. If your goal is to pay less every month, you can refinance to reduce the monthly payment by extending the loan term from say 20 to 30 years. There is a catch though. The drawback to extending the term is that you pay more in interest in the long run. But remember, if you do this for your investment property, then the interest is tax deductible. So how do you buy more properties through refinancing? You might ask. Again, let's assume that you cash out 100,000 through refinancing your existing rental property. Before you did that, you made sure that your current rental income will cover the loan. You then use the 100,000 rent as down payment for your new investment property deals. Let's assume that you closed five deals at a purchase price of 100,000 rand each. That's needed 20% down payment for each deal. Now, by cashing out your 100,000 through refinancing your home loan, you virtually didn't put a cent of your own money in the deal. Sweet. And the beauty of it is the monthly mortgage payment on the borrowed money is covered by the rental income received from the refinanced property. And this is how you create a snowball effect. A word of advice, don't refinance to fund vacations or a new car. That won't be a good idea. You will have little to no return on your money. And that will be a bit of a waste. But if you refinance to fund a home renovation or to consolidate your debt or to buy more rental property like I do will put you on a sounder financial footing. 
So, how do you qualify for a refinance? One, have an existing home loan. Two, your current property must be valued higher than the amount it was valued at when you took out your initial home loan. Three, have good credit credentials. Do your homework to cater for your future affordability. Five, you then go and apply for a refinance home loan. And six, you fall off the log and enjoy your success. It is always important to have a goal on why you want to refinance your home loan because that will be your ultimate guide to success. I wish you happy investing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.